This is Richard Wolf for Democracy at Work with another Wolf response. I want to respond today to both an event and to the media's treatment of the event. The event is the listing by the United States Treasury of the companies that received money under the Paycheck Protection Program in effect in the United States to deal with this pandemic for the last several months. Over half a trillion dollars, 521 billion to be exact, were dispersed under this program. And recent media releases across the media have indicated that well-connected people, friends of politicians, big businesses, supporters of Mr. Trump, and all of the other sorts of everyday corruption were involved here too. All kinds of people got all kinds of money that probably reflected their connections and not whether they deserved the help or not. And this is so usual, you kind of have to wonder, is the press once again going to tell us about something we knew was going to happen? Are we that interested in the specific details? Well, all of that would not have merited a wolf response. But here's the point I want to add to the conversation. The problem here is the system. You know me. You know that I say that. So let me show you how that works right here. The money was given to businesses, corporations by and large, but small businesses as well that are partnerships or self-employed folks and so on. But when you give money to a business, you are not giving it to everyone in the business. Not at all. You are giving it to the people who run the business. And that's not the same thing. The people who run the business are a tiny group of people at the top. The owner, if it's a little company, the board of directors who run big companies, who do most of the business in the United States, the major shareholders of big corporations who select the people on the board and therefore govern pretty much what they do. These are a tiny minority of all the people involved in the businesses. So the money is given to the tiny folks at the top who decide how to use it. The program is called Paycheck Protection but no one knows exactly what that means, and no one knows exactly what the corporation is going to do with the money it gets from the government, because that's the private business of that tiny minority. They might use it, figuring that they will not recover from the pandemic, in all kinds of ways that feather their nest and don't protect the jobs of the mass of people dependent on them at all. Many of them are no doubt figuring out exit strategies for the top executives, ways to save the shareholders, and so on. The last and the least to get any consideration will be the employees. In fact, it's already clear that all kinds of companies that got some of this money are already planning job cuts come August, September, October, and so on. The corruption does not lie in the people who are connected, snatching more than they ought to. Of course that goes on, but that's based in our system. We have a system that allows a tiny minority of people at the top to make all the decisions governing who has a job, how much money they earn, the conditions of their job, the security of their job. The mass of people are passive in this system. That's why it's not democracy and never was. A tiny group of people at the top of each business make all the decisions, and that includes the decisions of how to use the Paycheck Protection Program, $521 billion dollars, ultimately paid for by the taxpayer. That's right. We all get to help pay for a program that gives the money to a tiny minority of us who will decide how to use it and whether indeed, in the longer run, our paychecks will be protected. 
The corruption does not lie, as the media would have you think, in the crooks and the maneuvers and the wheeling dealing that got the wrong people's hands on this money. Was that there? You bet. But the much deeper and much more pervasive corruption is allowing such an undemocratic system. We're all going through the pandemic together, we keep being told. We're all going through the economic crisis together, we're all being told. Yeah, but guess who's making all the key decisions? All of us who are going through these things together? Uh Uh-uh. A tiny minority sitting at the top of our economic system has a wildly disproportionate amount of wealth and power at its disposal, and it shapes more than anything else what actually happens. How different it would be if the money the government was helping us all to get through this together was actually in the hands of all of us working in each enterprise so that democratically, one person, one vote, we could decide how best to get through the pandemic and the crash with the money that the government might help us with having at our disposal. The system is the problem, and until we change the system, we will see these kinds of corruptions surface and deep persist in our lifetimes and in those of our children. This is Richard Wolff for Democracy at Work.